This is the CV Life 6 to 9 inch bipod. Let's open up the package and see what you get when it ships to you. First of all, you're going to see you have your adapters for M lock and then a swivel stud, as well as the arm, which I'll show you more about in a little bit. And that's it. So here's your bipod. As you can see here, the bipod has a tensioning wheel. And that tensioning wheel right there actually is for this piece, which is going to attach to the swivel stud and eventually some M lock before I attach it to my rifle. Back here you have uh, something that can actually be removed and you can add on this, which I will do right now. What this is right here is your tension for your tilt. And if you need a, a smaller footprint, you could leave this on and that right there has enough texture and grip on it. It's, it's pretty functional. I myself prefer to go ahead and throw on this extended arm here. It just gives you a little bit of leverage. All tools that you're going to need for this are included in the box. Now that I've got that attached, moving it counterclockwise actually loosens up my tilt feature and moving it clockwise tightens the pay or the uh, tilt feature. Let's test out the spring legs real quick. A little bit of rebound there. Looks good. Go ahead and fold them out. Good strong springs. Not something I'm worried about actually flexing under medium recoil. I don't think that would be an issue. And when you want to make an adjustment or put them away, you're just going to press this little detent in until you hear that click. So again, these go from six to nine inches, just like so, and then they fold. And so the way that I would mount it up, and you'll see it in a second, is I would mount this with the bipod feet folded going forward. When you're ready to get this mounted up to like a swivel stud, as you see here, this is the piece that we're going to need to be working with. So here's your dial underneath. Go ahead and loosen the dial. And that's actually going to provide a little bit of space for this to work out. As you can see here, there's a couple teeth there, some pegs that are going to go through that hole. So I'm just going to put it in like this. I'm going to lift it up a little bit and pinch them underneath. And then I'm going to grab that tensioning rod or knob, tighten it up, and it's going to pull that base, and this would be mounted to a rail, it's going to pull that base in tight. All right, and here's what it looks like to install the M-Lock compatible swivel stud. So you're going to go throw those in there, and if you need longer hardware included in the package, there are some longer hardware bits, Allen's, if you need that. For whatever system you're mounting it to, it's very simple. I'm just going to start with them loose and turn them until they engage. There we go. Now for installing the bipod, it's very easy. I just loosened up the wheel pretty far so that the mouth with these two pins can open up. I'm going to slip them over and start tightening. And as I tighten, it's going to pull that against the M-lock swivel, swivel sling adapter. There we go. And it's installed. And again, just a little display of how those legs work. Good strong springs. Looking at some of the features again, 
Here underneath, these are the bars and the teeth that are going to engage on your swivel stud and the adapter that is provided in this. On the side, you have these pads, and these pads right here are going to make sure that it doesn't damage uh, the rifle, the stock, whatever you're putting it on. It's going to smush on there instead of uh, squeezing metal against the wood or composite. It'll have this pad against it. It also ensures that it doesn't move around on you because this is very grippy material right here. On the underside, you can see here is where your wheel is for tensioning that onto your swivel stud. To the front of that, if I flip this around again and extend the legs out, you can see this ring right here, which is just retaining this piece internally so that it can't come out. On the rear side, there actually is a swivel hole. So if you wanted to put in a sling, you could attach it right here to this mount, which will attach it to the bipod, which is attached to your rifle via the other swivel stud. This here is again your cant, so twisting that allows for cant in your bipod. And then locking it is going to engage and so that it will not twist. Here are your spring legs. Very tactile, snappy, and easy enough to put away. Under spring tension, and then collapsible to the front. Just like so.